Let's see how we can build a social profile analytics app with no code tool, Bubble.io and the social media API, Airshare. If you are following along and get stuck, check the video description for more details on each of the steps. We are logged into our Airshare Premium account and have connected our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter social profiles. We have also created a new Bubble app and installed the Bubble API connector to pull the data from the Airshare API. To set up this API call, we use the analytics slash social endpoint. We send in the API key and the content type in the header. The body is JSON with one parameter to specify the platforms. To initialize the call in Bubble, include all of the social networks that you will be connecting to. When you initialize the call, you will see the numerous data points which will be available for your analytics app. Let's take a quick look at the logical architecture of this app. The app will allow the user to enter the API key and select the social networks from a list we pre-populate. In a real app, you will likely have the API key stored in your database, and the list of available social networks can be dynamically populated using a different Airshare call which sends you the connected social networks for the user. Using this data, we make the API call and display the response data in text fields in the app. In a real app, you will likely want to save this response data back to your database. Let's now move on to the Bubble Design Editor to see how we implement these items. We use input fields for the API key and social networks. The Submit button starts the workflow which calls Airshare. We are saving the response data in custom states associated with the Submit button. We selected nine data points to display in text fields. But the API returns dozens of data points to populate a rich dashboard. In this app, we also added some simple conditional logic to show the text fields when that social network is selected. The workflow for the Submit button has two steps. The first step calls the API, sending in the API key and the list of platforms. The second step takes the response from the first step and saves nine of the values in the custom states associated with the button. Now that this app has been fully set up, let's run it. We enter an API key and select Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Let's submit the data. Now we see the data populated in the text fields with the social profile analytics data. Fantastic, our app is now complete. Remember that with Airshare you can access 10 social networks including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Reddit, Telegram, TikTok, Google My Business, Pinterest, and YouTube. To wrap up, let's discuss two enhancements you can work on to improve on this app. Check out the video description for more information on these. If your product or platform has many users, you can use the Airshare business plan to pull the analytics for all of the users of your app. You can also pull the analytics for each of the posts of your users. Get views, likes, retweets, time watched, and more to help gauge the impact of the content. Thanks for watching. In addition to analytics, you can handle all of your social media management needs with the Airshare API. Learn more at airshare.com.